Hello, everyone, and welcome. This is Maria Kliovko from Healthy Morning Revolution. We're here to revolutionize the way we think about grief and mourning. And today I want to talk about what happens when dosing no longer works. So let's just remind ourselves what dosing is all about. Dosing is really something that we do in order to bring comfort that also distracts us from the magnitude of what's happened with the loss of our loved one. It takes so much time for our body, our mind, our heart to acclimatize to the new reality. And it's a devastating new reality. And so it is a natural and right response that we dose ourselves. So I'm gonna give you some examples of how I've dosed myself in the past. Um, first and foremost, I find that um, I tend to turn on the television or the radio, and sometimes I even have the radio on throughout the night because I just can't be with the quiet. I, I just need some kind of noise, some kind of white noise on around me. And that provides some kind of comfort just to hear another voice, provide some kind of support, and then I can rest and then I can sleep. So that's dosing when it's done properly, right? Um, Sometimes I find that I become an overachiever and I get really, really busy in the workplace, particularly in the early days of grief, when I'm also in, in that shock place. And so suddenly I become hyper vigilant and able to achieve magnitudes amount of work. And it doesn't feel wrong. It feels right and on purpose. So here's the thing. When dosing feels right and on purpose, we don't need to go poking at it. It's right and perfect, and there are reasons why we are doing what we're doing. Whether it's travel, whether it's food consumption, whatever it is, um, it's right and perfect for us. The question is, what happens when dosing no longer works? And what I mean by no longer working is that suddenly dosing, um, the, the same act that we were doing before, the radio that I had on, the television that I had on, I'll sit in front of the television and instead of being at peace and calm and maybe even dozing off and going to sleep, now I'm feeling agitated and aggravated and frustrated. It's a different experience when I choose to do whatever I choose to do. Um, when I talk about food consumption, um, those who have worked with me and, and who have listened to my videos for a while, you know that when my mother died, pudding was my go-to, and when my father died, oatmeal was my go-to. And making chocolate pudding, um, really, it became a thing for me, and it became a dosing thing for me until I was really agitated one day, and it was like I, I was choking eating the pudding. I just, I, I was so agitated and frustrated. And so I decided instead of using it to avoid whatever was going on, now I would turn into it because the agitation made me aware that there was something else that my grief was wanting to tell me. When dosing no longer works, it's important for us to know that this is now a moment for us to turn in and lean in and lean on. And this too is a progression. It's not, okay, it's no longer working, so I need to really put my feet to the fire now. What happens is we slowly become aware that we're agitated. We slowly become aware that we're frustrated and what used to bring us comfort just isn't bringing us comfort anymore. And when we're not willing to be in that agitation or frustration or discomfort anymore, that's when we have a choice to make. And the choice is either we're gonna to continue to do things, we're gonna up the game on what we're doing in order to avoid what's happening and then that becomes grief avoidance and that's where we go into buried and carried grief or we make a conscious choice to turn into it so with the pudding example i actually chose to sit with what is it about chocolate pudding and the minute i asked the question a memory came of um, the first time my mother took me to the opera and being with her in the opera and having the chocolate pudding as the dinner just before we went to the opera together. It was a memory trigger for me that brought comfort. And then I could recognize that in those moments when I was tempted to chocolate pudding, what I was really looking for was my mother's comfort and love and the memories. There even comes a time when the memories that have brought us comfort may cease to bring us comfort, where we start to feel like we're living in the past and we're being called to the future. And that's a really difficult time in our grief journey. 
if you are finding that you are at that turning point in your grief journey, that something has shifted and what has worked in the past is no longer working and you're being called to something else and you don't know what that something else is, I'm going to employ, um, implore you to please come find me at healthymorning.com. Healthy Morning, spelled M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G dot com. Come and find the resources that may support you. Register for the next live launch. Live launch is five days where one hour a day, we very gently go through the conversation of what is grief and what is mourning and how can we convert our grief to mourning so that we're on a healthy pathway with our grief. Grief was always meant to be a journey that we move through so that we become our best selves at the other side. But it's become very confused with mixed messages and mythologies um, that have been taken as truth in, in our common society. So we're gonna do a bit of myth busting. We're gonna discover what's true underneath the myths. And we're gonna do some healthy grief and healthy mourning so that we can move through the journey with ease and grace, honoring our loved one every step of the way. I hope that this has been of help to you. If it has been, come visit me at healthymorning.com. Please like and subscribe. And by all means, share this video if you know someone who needs to hear these words. Because honestly, we all know people who have buried and carried their grief and who are living a dimmed version of their life. And it's not necessary. I look forward to seeing you next time. Much love to you. Namaste. Thank mm -hmm. you.